We begin the 430 news with a live look outside the Marriott Marquis near McCormick Place, where in just a matter of moments, President Biden is expected for a Democratic fundraiser. He's also been at McCormick Place speaking to union members. Earlier today, the president visited a farm in Kankakee. He is here to focus on what he calls his top domestic policy right now, that is inflation, and he's turning to farmers for help. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas spent the day in Kankakee for the president's visit, and he joins us live now. Tim? Yeah, Jim and Marie, the president wants to increase food supplies. You might wonder how. Well, he says he wants to expand crop insurance and he wants to increase food. Uh, he wants to increase competition among beef, pork, and poultry providers. Those are just a couple of the examples he gave. Before he laid all that out in a speech today, he toured a family farm here in Kankakee. The president arrived here just hours after a new report from the U.S. Department of Labor showed inflation rose again in April. It is a smaller increase than what we saw in March, but inflation remains near its fastest growth pace in 40 years. President Biden says the war in Ukraine has worsened the problem and created global food supply challenges. Well, Ukraine says they have 20 million tons of grain in their silos right now. 20 million tons. And guess what? If those tons don't get to market, an awful lot of people in Africa are going to starve to death. And here at the Kankakee Fairgrounds, supporters of former President Donald Trump gathered to protest the president's visit. This is where a shuttle bus picked up reporters for President Biden's speech at the farm. The White House also faces challenges when it comes to rising fertilizer costs. Whatever the solutions may be, farmers and shoppers hope they come soon. Live in Kankakee, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. They do. Thank you so much, Tim.